Hi, this is Polly, and I'm here today to share a loaded paper bag project that I work, that was working on. Not for any particular reason, just needed a project to work on something to do. And um, I was originally going to um, load this bag with embellishments, handmade embellishments, um, but that changed and um, instead I've loaded the bag with some beads and charms from my stash. And um, this is why I have chose to do that because I received this beautiful necklace, beaded necklace, that was um, made for me by a woman that works with my husband Look at how pretty these, these beads are. They are so pretty. And I love the way it falls on me. It's just the right length. And she also created the matching earrings to go with it. So I received this from Tracy. Um, I've never met Tracy. And she sent that home with my husband. And um, I was very, very touched. She does beautiful beadwork, and her beads that she uses, they're nice beads. They're not plastic, you know, your cheap plastic beads. They're glass, nice beads. Um, I started to make embellishments for the bag. So these are just some snippet hearts I made by, you know, using little snippets. Um, like this lace here was received from my friend Irene Cupcake. Hi, Cupcake. Um, her channel is uh, Lucia Castle, and so you know just different pieces of uh, like this is um, from a hanky, a button, flower. Um, this one here. Sorry for my lighting. I'm in my kitchen. Um, I can't go in my craft room. I'm having a hard time uh, climbing stairs because I have a broken rib. Um, so I'm in my kitchen filming. There's the other one I made. So that's where that ended with the um, handmade embellishments. And um, so this is the bag. And I'll start with, let's start with the wand I made. Um, I used the Tim Holtz paper dolls. And I inked up the word embrace with antique fo or photo, I don't know, antique linen, I, I can't remember. Um, this is a heart um, that I cut out from one of my heart dies. And I used tool instead of acetate. Uh, I feel the uh, sequence and the beads move around a lot better in that. Um, and you don't have to make it as thick because it gives you it gives you more give. Um, and then on the back of it, I took this um, ribbon trim and I pleated it a little bit behind there. And then I have some more tool here. This tool is like a very light gray. I wouldn't call it silver. It's very light gray, and that's the same color as I've got um, in the shaker. And then behind that. Place some doilies to give it some dimension um, and then here's the back this heart here was the inside of this heart when I cut it out I put a little embellishment there um, and then I just hung some ribbon and some seam binding um, all my seam binding I use is white and I like to um, color it myself so because then I can get the colors I want. So that's just some pink seam binding. Um, this here, I think it's sorry lace, but I'm or sorry trim. I'm not sure. That I got in a swap from Anna Zunet Zunega, and um, these are just some ribbons and trims that I've received from you know swaps and um, racks from um, some friends because I wanted to use some things that you know uh, were sent to me because I like to hoard them and I think it's it's it, it's a good thing to use them you know even if you don't use them all because you want to hoard them but the straw is white 
know if you can see that. White with a little bit of a cream stripe. So that's my shaker. And then in the front pocket of the bag, I made a tag. Everything else is coming out. Let's see. I made the tag. I really like the tag a lot. So I took a shipping tag. I think I got these shipping tags from, I think, Staples. And uh, put some trim down here while I, while I put paper on it. From The paper collection I've used is Something Blue by Prima, which... There's hardly any blue in, 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 in this collection, but it's something blue because it has to do with its, its wedding themed um, uh, pad. But uh, so I put uh, some trim across here. This I got from Cupcake for my rain. Um, this trim here, or lace, this pink, I mean, my coloring's awful because of the lighting. Um, uh, I got an Ooh La La Vintage Treasures um, kit which is a Facebook group uh, by uh, owned by Doreen, and she sells kits, gorgeous kits. I, she tries to do it monthly. Um, so go over and uh, join that Facebook group. It's a great, great group. Um, a lot of talented crafters. Just a ribbon rose there, some seam binding. I've got to cut that piece of it off. Um, this is one of those... Um, Frames from Michaels from the two dollar, one dollar, two dollar spot. I've had it a while. Painted it. I th I painted it with like a mushroom color, and then I cut out this um, piece here from the collection because it had the bird, and I wanted to kind of highlight the bird, so that's why I put the frame there, and um, a little word that I think it's Tim Holt's word um, from his sticker book, and um, I just inked it up. And here's a doily that I cut in half. This is a connector doily. Um, and then just some ripped fabric. Um, this, I sorry lace if that's what it is. And uh, just tied that off with a little bit of um, twine here. And so that's a tag. The back, I covered with a little bit of lace down here, a little trim. And then this is dictionary paper. So that's the tag. It's in the front pocket. And then I have in the front pocket this envelope. And this envelope here um, I received from a kit I purchased from Christy and uh, on her YouTube channel. And she's Faith, Faithful Designs by Christy. And um, I, I purchased the kit from her because it went so good with this collection. This um, sequence bow here, I just glued to a paper clip. And uh, this came from Craft Supplies for You. Just put like a little baby doily on the back to cover up the glue. And inside the envelope, I have some charms. I think they're cute charms too. Um, I hope Tracy can use them. They're uh, bottle openers, wine, wine, bottle openers. Um, so I hope Tracy can use those. Then in the front pocket, I this didn't come with the collection, and I don't know where this came from, but the color went with it good. So I just stuck a little gold heart here with some ribbon behind it. And then... This is in the front pocket also. And this is a card from um, Becky Higgins' Project Life card, I believe. And all I did with this was I inked it up with a vintage photo and uh, glued on some sequins on each corner. Uh, and I glued on the word note, even though I didn't write a note on it yet. Uh, and then another Tim Holtz paper doll. I used the boys. They're so cute. So, that's what was in the front pocket. Not, not, not much fits in the front pocket. Um, this bag is a small bag. It, I think it started out at 8.5 by 5. Um, but once you fold up the bottom, it's even smaller. So, I wouldn't even... I'd call it maybe a mini paper bag, loaded paper bag. Um, 
just put some trim around the, across the bottom. That's from my stash. This lace trim, I believe, came from Irene. Um, the flower here, I did nothing with. Um, it was made for me and included in a swap that I did with Anna. Um, and Anna's YouTube uh, channel is Anna Zunega. And so I just I just put placed that on here and I thought it went very well. These paper flowers here are from Michaels. I think they're recollections. And um, then I have this. And I don't know where I got this. I only have like this small square of it. And it's it's got a, it's pink, but it's orange. Because the paper line has, the roses are pink with a little bit of orange. And orange is, isn't my color. But I liked the paper line. So I took that. And in the light, this tends to turn sometimes a little bit of green in it. A little bit of purple in it. I thought that went very well behind there. Just some trim here. And then up on top here, I made a clip. And these clips are snippet clips, and they're done on these old hair clips. Um, I remember my grandmother using these in her hair a lot, back in the 70s maybe. And um, I received these clips from Irene. Uh, her YouTube channel is Lucia Castle. And... Um, and it's just like a little snippets of um, like this is a piece of um, like a little piece of canvas um, some lace down the middle I cut these little teeny out of um, they're like little teeny doilies uh, that I cut out of a, um, a piece of trim and uh, put a uh, metal bird here it says embrace I inked it up um, and a little little flower here a little bling in it and uh, you just clip them on your projects these are so darn cute and they're so fun to make and they're easy to make um, this was started by Do Doreen on um, Ooh La La Vintage Treasures Facebook group and um, everybody's going crazy with them making them because they're so easy to make and they're fun to make so that was stuck on the bag here that's the front of the bag, and then I'll show you the back of the bag, which has a shaker, a large shaker. Um, this was originally going to be the wand for the bag, but I started this before I even got the bag out. And then once I saw how large this was, I'm like, it's too big for a wand for this bag. So I stuck this on the bag, glued it on. And um, I don't necessarily know if I like it, if it belongs there, but it's there. So that's where that is. This is also done with the um, tool. And then you've got your sequence. I'll shake it, but it takes good. Um, and then just went around it, went around it, went around the heart. There's a um, heart here that I cut out through my, uh, with one of my dies and uh, just pleated the, this lace behind it. And uh, so that's what the back is. Some more trim here. And then you got it, you know, this on the front and then you have it on the back. I did not decorate or put paper in the gussets. Um, I thought I would do it but I changed my mind um, due to the broken rib and not feeling so well. And I wanted to get this out to Tracy. Um, there's, there was a little bit of the paper bag showing here underneath this trim. So I used my gold, uh, gold leaf marker um, and uh, went across there. I also did it um, here and you'll see that when I open the bag. But I did that, um, I got that from Nurse Tara. She does, Nurse Tara does that a lot, and um, it gives it a nice touch. Um, she loves to do that on her projects, and I'm glad that I saw that because it, it, it does look nice. It, it finishes it off. So on the inside, I made this. 
and this is what will hold my note to Tracy. And um, mm -hmm. this was a Project Life card, the the gold with the with the uh, polka dots, and um, I dumped a bunch of glue over here. And I thought, well, I can't use that now. Well, I changed my mind. And because I wanted this card because it had this. And I wanted um, my Tim Holtz paper dial to have a ledge to sit on. So I'm like, ugh, I got to use this. I want it, you know, it's real cute. I want them to be sitting on something. So what I did was I went around and I cut all the way around that glue strings all the way around the circles, going all the way down to here. And then I used my gold, gold leaf uh, marker, and I did that all the way around also. And then I backed it with this playing card uh, because it had the gold. And if I hadn't have done that, then it would have just ended here and he would have just been, my little, little boy here would have just been hanging. So that worked out well. And then I made a rosette. The rosette is made from the first back one here. It's made from a cupcake liner. This rosette is made from the paper line. And um, I took the marker. I don't know if you can see that. And I just touched a little bit on each little pleat there. This was just a scallop punch that I punched out of the paper line. Put a uh, gold heart here. And then I made some fishtail banner to go underneath this um, rosette. And I also uh, went around that with the gold. And then I put the uh, word happy. And then here's my back. There's the pretty paper line. And then I made my note to Tracy thanking her. So. I really liked this little tag. So this goes this was on, this goes on the inside of the bag. And then I have the beads. And I wish I could have made the packaging from the beads out of the uh, paper line. Um, but I had to get this out to Tracy and um, I couldn't I couldn't get to my craft room because uh, I couldn't take the stairs. So this is what I did, is I took a glassine bag and I stamped with um, brown stays on ink. Um, I'm wishing you sunshine and smiles to brighten your day. And then I took this rosette, which is that orangey pink, I don't, I don't know if I, if I would say pink, but um, maybe a salmon, I guess. Then on the back, I just uh, glued on a heart um, from the paper line that I cut out um, with my die and then a paper clip to close the bag. I didn't want uh, the beads falling out on the inside of the bag. So I did two of those. And these two, these two bags with the beads and that one um, tag with the note on it is about all that fits inside here and also the um, the wand. So this is the bag. I thought it turned out pretty cute. I uh, put paper on the inside. Let's see if I can get this right. I'm sorry, I'm not used to doing videos. I'm new, so please bear with me. I'm, I'm getting better. So this was the, from the paper line. I did that on both sides. And then where the paper didn't come all the way up to the top of the paper bag. I took uh, the gold leaf pen and I put that all the way across. Let's see if you can see that. You can see it a little bit better there. So that is my paper, or my loaded paper bag. I hope Tracy likes it. Um, now I feel good because it's it's done and I can send it off to her at work uh, with my husband. So thank you for watching this video and um, I've got a small haul, well, a medium haul video coming up from uh, Craft Supplies 
for you that um, my son uh, purchased for me for Mother's Day. So uh, that, that, that will be uploaded soon because um, I got some beautiful trims from that uh, Zibit store. So thank you for watching, and I will talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.